what's up? Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Sonor with Beauty by Michelle Sonor. I want to take a second to introduce myself and let you guys know all of the things that I offer as far as services. If you've been watching my videos or following me for a long time, you may know all of these things, but just a brief recap for those of you who don't. I am an independent hairstylist and I am located in Whitefish Bay, Milwaukee area um, in Wisconsin, but I do travel, so anybody watching this, feel free to contact me, as well as a bridal freelance artist, which is one of my other major passions. So that is what I do, as well as making these tutorials to help all of my clients further their education and stylists. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm going to be covering what I'm gonna call, we'll call them LA Beach Waves. Um, I have been loving my hair like this for the last few weeks and I've been getting tons of compliments so that always means that I need to show people how to do it. So the nice thing about this is you get a lot of longevity and a lot of longevity out of it as well as a really, really cool style. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so time to get the style started. First, I'm going to show you guys what I use to prep my hair for the style. So last night I washed my hair and the first product that I put in was called Protect. And this is from You Smooth and it's a thermal protectant. So you spray it on towel dried hair all throughout your hair to obviously help with heat protection. Then I struggle from frizz, especially in Wisconsin with it being humid. So I then use the Kevin Murphy Smooth Again. And this one is going to also act as a heat protectant and it's an anti-frizz treatment. So I use the pump and a half of this, mid lengths to ends. And then I always like to add something that's gonna give me a little bit of hold and a little bit of volume. And that would be the Kevin Murphy Bodybuilder. So I filled my entire palm with this, emulsified it right at my roots, and then gave myself a blow dry. So that is all that I have done to my hair now to create this style. And now we'll get into what you'll need to create your LA waves. Um, first, either a ponytail or some sort of clip for sectioning off your hair. And then I'm going to be using a one inch hot tools iron. This one is the professional, so it has um, the Marcel iron, but you can go ahead and use your regular clamp, so don't be kind of leery about that. You don't need this exact iron. And then we're gonna have one product and that is our Kevin Murphy bedroom hair. So we're gonna get started, super, super simple. We are going to first section our hair off. And since we're using a one inch iron, we're gonna wanna do about one inch sections. So might take you a little bit longer, but I promise you, you're gonna have way more longevity out of your hair. So here's my first section. And you're going to be curling everything away from your face. So taking your one inch section here and you're going to clamp close to the root and you're gonna turn the iron until you leave that tail end out. So we do not want to clamp that in our iron. Now here's the part that's gonna give you this particular look. So I'll come a little closer. You're going to twist it as it comes out, creating this little dread-like curl. So I'll do the same thing on the next one. Again, going away from my face, clamping towards the root, twirling away from my face, leaving the tail end out. And we'll count about five, four, three, two, one. And then we're twisting, 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 leaving that end straight. Again, you're left with these kind of goofy looking curls. It is not super cute yet. So then come to the other side and it's that same thing. Notice if you're doing it on yourself, your elbows are gonna be kept down. You're never going like this. You're always going downward and you're gonna clamp it in, twist, 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 leave the tail end out. And circle, 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 into your dread. Same thing. And your ends don't have to be necessarily exactly an inch, exactly a half inch left out. The having a little variable in between how much straight end you leave out actually makes it look better and more 
um, just a little messier. Then after each section, you're gonna take your bedroom hair and you're gonna spray it. And I love this stuff because it's really like textured and gritty um, and gives you that very salty look. And then you're gonna go along the same thing for the next section. So you're gonna take the next section down, ponytail the top off, And I'll show you a couple more times before I speed up the video for time's sake. So you're gonna clamp it in. You're gonna turn, turn, turn one more time. Leave the tail end out. Count five, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna spin that curl out. Again, leaving you with another beautiful dreadlock. And this one we'll do slow-mo here. So I'm gonna break it down for you and... And you'll just continue to do that along the entire head. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward on this, speed up this process, and I'll meet you back when we hit the top layer. Lightning strikes by my window, hits my chest right in the morning. Now we're at our last section on the top. So here you can go with any sort of parting that you want. Um, I've been really digging the middle part. I just recently colored my hair and I like the way that it looks on a middle part, but you can totally do whatever you want. And we'll slow it down another time for you at the top here. This is what my hair used to look like when I used to curl my hair in like middle school and we'd just leave it like this and that was really cute. <laughs> but times have changed guys so brush your curls out, okay? <laughs> Lightning strikes by my window Hits my chest right in the morning Slept here for days I felt your heartbeat Felt your mouth real But it's not real Okay, and our last piece here All of these different ways that I show you in my tutorials to curl your hair They're not to confuse you, they're just to give you an understanding of what different ways are out there and how when you look at a picture and you like your hair a certain way like there's all these different ways of curling So, as a stylist we understand that, but as the general consumer, you probably don't. Um, so feel free, I have some other YouTube tutorials like flat iron curls, um, wand curls, so you can kind of see what the difference is gonna give you. Um, generally, they're all a little bit beachier because that's just the style now, um, but I'll make sure to do some other ones for you too. Okay guys, here's what it looks like just after you've curled it with the iron. Come up a little closer. All right, and now you're gonna wanna let it cool. So I've already let this sit for a good minute. It's all cool to the touch, as always, because once you let it set, then it'll stay in your hair for longer. So I'm gonna use my Kevin Murphy bedroom here again, and I'm gonna spray all over as I break it apart.
Okay, then once you've kind of saturated it all throughout the hair, just keep breaking it up. And it's nice to use this one inch iron because then I'll look like this on the first day and then I really get a lot of longevity. So tomorrow it'll be much softer. It'll be less of like this little kinky curl, um, which I love. I love all of the days out of it. But then by the last day, you're really kind of a softer curl and it looks like you styled your hair multiple different ways by just doing one curl set. If you want a little bit more volume too, you can even kind of flip your head over and shake it at the roots. Okay. Alright, let's give you a little zoom in. So here is it all finished. As you can see, it's more textured, kinky, like it kind of looks like you were just hanging out on the beach with a little sea salt in your hair. Back it up for us now. Oh, that's perfect. Here we go. Yeah, so that is my LA Waves tutorial. If you guys have any requests, please post them in the comments below as always. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me on my social media channel. I am always available and ready to help. Also, on a side note, I am hiring for 2019 bridal season. I'm not just looking for anybody, I am looking for the best of the best. When it comes to my brides, I take it extremely seriously. I want amazing people that are on my team that are not only super talented, but that are gonna make you feel good and look good at the same time. So, if that is you or you think that is you, please reach out to me and I would love to get connected.